I have three words for you. Tequila, lime, shrimp. Wait, make that five words. F***ing awesome tequila, lime, shrimp. How can there be anything bad? We all love tequila. Okay. Unless you don't drink. And then... You know, it's funny because I get, uh, I get uh, questions every so often about... I don't drink. And I see you've used vermouth in the recipe. What should I use? And I'm like, uh, hmm. You should use another recipe because I don't know what to suggest. Look, there's this thing that alcohol adds that just brings things. Stand by. Pardon me. I'm expecting a delivery. And this could be a Delivery of what? <laughs> Moving on. Thank you. It'll be here, by the way, it'll be here in 27 minutes. There's this thing that alcohol adds that you can't get in any other way. So you either leave it out or you just move on to another recipe. If you're not a drinker, then uh, lime shrimp with what we put in will still be good. Won't be the same as the tequila, but... And let me say that uh, that heated tequila and flamed and whoosh, the torching and all that stuff gives a certain flavor that maybe not everybody likes. I love this. I can eat the shit out of this. Eat the hell out of this. I've lost track. Tequila, lime, shrimp. So, yes, tequila. Okay, so we got the components here, but, but one of the things we're going to add is a compound butter. And a compound butter is just a butter that you add stuff to, you mix it, and then you can throw it in a ton of shit. And one of the things we'll throw it in today is this. And once we show you this, and once you have this in your fridge, this can go in anything. It can go on anything. Because it's good for everything. You solid with that, Maxi? Good to go. Everybody good? It's not hot today. There's no ridiculous sun. We're feeling good about ourselves. We're like a month and a half away from going to Tokyo to shoot. We're excited about that. So if you're in Tokyo, because you live there, or you're going to be there between the the 23rd and the 26th, is that where we're going to be there? Yeah. Then we're going to Osaka. Uh, Reach out and tell us. We want to hang. We'll have shots together. You can have Okonomiyaki together, which we will show you one of the greatest things on the planet. We're also going to show you the egg salad from, well, a convenience store. It's going to be great. I just completely got lost in my mind about us going to Tokyo and shooting there. Cannot freaking wait. No, I don't know. Oh, yeah, compound butter. Let me show you the compound butter because you're going to like this. It's, it, this will become a utility player in your home. I promise you. start with a bowl and then we add a half a cup of butter oh, come on it had to land like that two cloves of garlic squished in oh boy that went like eight feet no you, you can't even see it it's behind the leg of that chair there you go there you go one oh, such a good garlic press and two Next is going to be one large chipotle pepper, minced. Can you appreciate how gorgeous that is? Do you see the sheen on that? That's just... It's a large smoked jalapeno, ladies and gentlemen. It's one of the greatest things ever created. But you can't put it in like that, because look at it. You can't. So we chop it up. Do you see it squooshing? And what this is going to do, this is going to add a gorgeous level of heat. Nothing crazy, but more importantly, some really desirable smoky flavor. We'll now put this in like this. And by the way, if you're opposed to the heat, when you buy these chipotle peppers, and there's a little one, the sauce that comes in with it, it's called adobo sauce. I always say, not the same as the Filipino adobo sauce, but it doesn't have the seeds and the stuff, so it's not quite as hot, but still has that nice smoke to it. Let me just wipe this quickly. Clean as you go. You always got a second. Start again nice and clean. 
Then we'll add the juice of half a lime. Wipe again. A couple tablespoons of cilantro minced. That looks like this. And try and make this pretty fine. This goes in. Nice. Last little bits. And then a big pinch of salt and pepper. And we mix. Yes, my butter could be a little softer, but it's going to be fine. And when it's mixed nicely where you want it and looking well combined, you have a couple options. That is just a beautiful thing to behold. And by a couple options, oh, son of a bitch. Here's what they are. Say you grill some corn. Can you imagine how outstanding it would be with this brushed on? How about you make some garlic bread? Well, this is already made. So now you just grill some bread, slather a bunch of this on top, then wing it under the broiler for a second or two. It'll blow the top of your head right off. Um, you're making eggs one morning, scrambled eggs. Oh, you've got some onions in a pan, some mushrooms you're softening. Throw a little bit of this in, tablespoon of this. Then add the beaten eggs in. Are you kidding me? How about this? You cook a steak perfectly, a ribeye, maybe the way we've done here, or on the smoker, the reverse sear, all the ways we've talked about. It comes off of the stove. It comes out of the oven. It comes off the smoker, off the grill, and it needs to rest for 10 minutes. While it's resting, you take a big-ass tablespoon of this, slather it over the top, then you, you tent it loosely with foil. Do you have any idea what that is going to do to that steak? Tell them about the butter burger. The butter burger. You tell them. That compound butter in the burger grilled. We made a burger. You take the beef. You put this nonsense in. You grill it. Imagine as it's cooking, the, the, the shit just drips out, but it, it adds and it flares up. Oh, it's, come on. This is one of my greatest gifts to you. And my counter now, apparently. We could have just done this today. Called it a day, gone home, you would have been happy. Of course, people would have said, compound butter? That's not exciting. Why should I click on that? Because you need to listen. I'm not just standing here for my health. I should be eating more yogurt, doing yoga for my health. But I'm not. <laughs> Much to my wife's concern. But that doesn't matter right now. This by itself, make this. So now look. Now you take it. And we're going to use it like this. But, but wait, don't stop there because let me show you how to save it. You get a piece of... What the f*** is this called? Wax, Wax paper. paper, thank you. You get a piece of... Oh boy, look what I've done. Look, what, what's it? Do you see this? Like something, someone has... Yes, I can't. i got it. Piece of Some of it, there's got to be a better mouse trap. There we go. No, it's not there yet. There we go. Look how much I had to waste this to get to where I want it to be. So you get yourself a nice clean piece of wax paper. Cut it. Now you take some of this, you splooch it right in the middle. Okay? Gross. Sorry. We're going to roll this like a big, giant joint. You know, I used to say cigar. I don't say cigar anymore because it's 2019 and it's legal here. And now these guys, you twist, 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 twist. See what you've got? You've got this beautiful little cylinder of... Chipotle, garlic, lime, cilantro, compound butter. 
It's beautiful. Now this goes in your fridge. And when you need some, you cut a little piece out. If you're not going to use it for a while, you want to throw it in your freezer, throw it in your freezer. It's going to be fine. This is my gift to you. But we're not stopping here. We're making some badass shrimp. We have four things to cut up that will go into uh, our shrimp. Here we go. First is jalapeno. Take out this CD membrane part because that's the super hot part. You still get flavor. You still get some heat, but not as much. Leave it if you want. I like to take it out. And then we'll just cut these guys up into a little dice. And then this way. And in they go. Next, red jalapeno. Cut up the same way. And we cut. Next, a little more cilantro. Oh. I'm making a mess. Come on. Hey man, that's not your place. And the final component, some diced Roma tomato. And you know often I'm not good with the, uh, the seeds, the pulp, and the inside of these things. In this case, I'm all about it. Bring it on. Only thing left to do now, Cook our little shrimp. I turn around to the grill to get everything ready to cook the shrimp, and I realize of my four little bowls, I didn't want more cut cilantro. I already had a little bit extra for the top. What I wanted was some diced green onion, some cut up freaking green onion, the light green and white parts. So pretend that. This is what I cut, not this, okay? This, not this. This, not this. Now we cook. Okay, so look, I'm using my grill as a stove top. So the, the pan is on here, but what that means is you put the pan on, you turn the heat up high, you shut the lid, and you leave it. And you need it really hot for this because it's going to make everything better. And here's how you tell if something's really hot. With nothing in the pan... You splatter a little water in there, and if it beads up super fast, like this, look how badass that is. You got a hot enough pan. Now we can cook. Now here's the thing. You want everything at the ready because it happens very quickly. So here's what we're going to do. We add some oil. And then we add our shrimp. We add some of the red jalapeno. Some of the green jalapeno. Some of the green onion. And we mix. Amazing. Look how fast, right? So these are 16, 20 shrimp. That means there's between 16 and 20 a pound. And that's a pretty decent size. I'm using a cast iron pan. As the gardeners start up a couple yards away. The smell here is outrageous. Ladies and gentlemen, this is really about heat. So I'd say the shrimp are basically halfway there. And now we're going to add our tequila. Oh, I burnt myself. And now we're going to add our tequila, and that's going to look like this. We're going to take it off the heat, just lift it up. We're going to add about a quarter of a cup. And then we're going to hit it with a torch to flame it. If I was doing this inside, the stove flame would have handled it by itself. 
but because I'm on the grill and speaking louder, because there's a gardener about 20 feet from me. Now look, okay. It doesn't flame like that when it's outside on the grill, but the shrimp are gorgeous. Honestly, he said, raising his voice, the only other thing that this really needs is some of this absolutely amazing compound butter that we'll add right here. And as it just starts to melt, in goes the tomatoes. And now everything gets mixed. Tomatoes last minute because we don't want them soggy. Butter last minute because we want to bring the whole thing together. And as this is finishing, it gets a little salt and pepper all the way around. And that, my friends, is tequila, lime, shrimp, in the most delicious way possible. We should have a bite, come on. And here we are. Wow, look, look. And then just take some of the extra tomato stuff. This gorge, oh the smell, the smell from here. And that little bit of extra cut cilantro. Okay, so you wanna just take a little bit of the tomato stuff and put it on top. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Look, I mean, come on. You know what this needs? There's only one thing that's missing. Me f***ing eating this, Max. Enough with the pictures. Can we just actually get a bite? Come on. Come on. The smell is insane. I mean, honestly, insane. Can you get a good shot of that? Hold it too deep, it will fall off. Everything in this is exquisite, carefully placed. Going to be outstanding. You know what's interesting is that Jilly uh, made an observation. She said, it's probably one of our healthier recipes. And it is. Honey, it's tequila lime shrimp. And I'm losing weight. Which I suppose if you only ever ate cheeseburgers... Would be true. May I take a bite? I can take a bite. So you noticed, or maybe you haven't, and I'll point it out now. We've used shrimp with the tail on. Peeled, deveined, but with the tail on. And that lets you have this as a little handle. And that means that this bite, this bite, I pick up easily. And then I go like this. One of the best shrimp I've ever eaten. I'm not exaggerating. Think about it. You've got jalapenos, two kinds. You've got green onions in here. We've added the tomatoes. The shrimp went in, which by itself would be okay, but then we added that garlic chipotle compound butter with some lime juice in it. And what makes it amazing is that then you get this. You get all that gorgeousness on top. You hear the texture? Mm. Look. Super hot pan. This whole thing cooked in about two minutes. Two freaking minutes. Do it inside. Do it outside. If you do it outside, get the thing hot. Oh, it just. And then, and then forget the effing shrimp and just have a bite of that. Just this. Mm. Do you know if we, we put this on rice, how amazing it would be? On pasta, how amazing it would be? On top of a steak, how amazing it would be? This is a winner, ladies and gentlemen. Look, we like the food that we make. I would never go on and on about something if I didn't think it was really as good as I'm saying it is. And I'm telling you, this and, and 16, 20 shrimp, that's important. Between 16 and 20 in a pound, and that gives you a shrimp that size. Little tiny shrimp or little tiny shrimp? Oops, I dropped some stuff. Well, there we have it. So, uh, thank you. Like, subscribe. And when you subscribe, 
Hit the notification bell so you know exactly when we post these new videos. You can already be a subscriber and then go back and hit the notification bell because you might not have. Maybe you didn't know that. And then make this fucking thing because this is nuts. And by the way, as I've heard on other cooking shows, the alcohol burns off. Use it for the flavor because it's so freaking good.